Hey guys, so I've been wanting to make this video for a very, very long time. It is uh, teaching you guys how to use the board better. So this is going to be another instructional video. So I'm going to teach you how to use the board uh, in a way that is not just random. Like uh, you get the stones, you just connect, you pretty much don't get what you want, uh, you get... you getting to a point where you don't have any stones you get frustrated you blame the game yeah uh, I'm gonna tr try to give you some some things uh, some I'm gonna arm you with some knowledge to actually prevent you from getting to that point and even in terrible situations when you're playing with the game and boards you can get it to your advantage so it, it is very important that that you know these things so you're able to manipulate your enemy and uh, your heroes to be able to get the best outcome with the board. So I'm gonna, in other words, I'm gonna teach you to get better boards in general, but with strategy. So we're going to have uh, the very first thing we're gonna uh, talk about. But let me get the opponent here first. All right, that's gonna be Dante. All right, the very first thing that we're going to talk about is if I have, to, if I can connect at the if I should connect at the top or at the bottom because uh, that's a very important question you have to ask yourself uh, usually when you start you have to uh, choose from the top because if you choose from the top you're going to have more probability that other other stones here uh, can actually connect with each other and uh, that way you can get even more connections even more connections in that situation However, there are times in the game that you will want to actually connect from the bottom. And these situations are, are in, depends on what hero you're fighting, depends really um, the situation that you're in, uh, in which you don't want stones to be connected a lot, uh, you don't want certain stones to hit a specific hero a lot. So let me give you an example here. I'm gonna activate the top. There's gonna be a lot of connections here, see? But by doing this, I already made a segment here go off. So I have to be mindful that the stones that are hitting there uh, specifically are going to uh, activate that specific hero. So that's what we're going to talk about now. We're going to talk about where should we connect. So if I see the situation, uh, obviously uh, Sigmund doesn't have any mana. So instead of connecting here, I'm going to connect on the left side. So this way, um, Sigmund here doesn't go off. So like you see here, not a lot of things will happen here in that situation. But in, if I don't connect it on the right side, then in that situation, uh, this guy over here uh, would be actually going off. But if I want him to go off, then I would connect stones from this side as much as I possibly want or can. If that's what I really am trying to do, and that's what I'm going to try to do now. And actually now we're going to have everybody go off now. So yeah, so that's another way to do it. So, uh, and also you have to make sure that you know who exactly you're fighting. So in that situation, I'm actually going to go to another type of fight uh, to show you that specifically. Alright, so we're back to the part where it is uh, know who you are fighting. So this is a very important part of uh, knowing uh, what exact, ad, exact stones are you going to activate. So the first thing you have to check is uh, who is in front, who's going to get the stones. In this case, uh, we don't have, we don't see really a lot of weapons that actually uh, you have to take into account or heroes. However, Elmist. Elmist over here does have uh, Alia Staff, so this is a very important weapon to take into account. Because this one will activate every single time you uh, connect stones and things like that. And that can be manipulated with the board itself. So we're going to, I'm, I'm going to give you a few examples here. Let's see if I can get better connections. So another thing uh, here, let's see. All right. See, see how uh, Elmas keeps getting dead shields. That's because of the, um, of the actual um, uh, Alia staff there, and especially with his buff, which will he will get um, 
30% uh, extra shields. So, I'm going to take these guys out first. To actually show you. Wow, he died pretty quickly. <laughs> Hopefully we, we have enough Elmas after this. Oh, apparently we will. Yeah, this is actually really nice uh, testing here. So he doesn't have any shields, so... Uh, usually players are just gonna go activate in a bunch of these, and he's just gonna continuously get those shields there. But there is one way that you act actually can actually control how many shields this guy has. If you're fighting in wars and things like that, and he's having a lot of shields, it does. It, you can activate stones in the bottom like this. Uh, just three. Let me first activate uh, all of his... Um, Oh, he didn't activate here. Uh, please survive. Okay, perfect. This is a good one. So, if, imagine that he has a bunch of, of um, s shields there. You're going to activate from the bottom to make sure that those shields run out in war. Specifically. Uh, I still get... Ah, uh, there he got the shields again. So, in war, you're, you're probably going to have to have this situation in which you connect the zones at the bottom but it's still going to connect a punch sometimes but that's pretty much the the way you actually beat him if you if you're having a lot of problems with him not for sure but just make sure make sure from the bottom in this case we had to connect from the top hopefully we don't get more connections here Alright, still a lot of connections. There we go. See how he lost all that shields? That is a good way to actually beat um, Elmas in wars. If if you know Elmas, you're going to fight him and Isadora and a bunch of other heroes that use the stones um, or Alia staff uh, to get a lot of shields. So you connect him from the bottom. That's going to help you uh, be able to uh, not have the, that much shields and you can try to kill them uh, directly there. So that's a very important strategy I have to take into account, especially in wars there. So anyway, I'm just going to show you some footage of uh, how I actually beat Elmist in war, uh, pretty much manipulating the bottom uh, part of the board to have him not get so much shields and actually uh, defeating him in that way. All right, um, and that method of uh, connecting the bottom of the board, uh, I would call it turtling in that situation because uh, you're going to turtle uh, or make things as slow as possible so the shields goes off or an enemy does not activate or or you just don't want him to go off, uh, especially uh, if you're playing against Mildred. You don't want her to go off so much, but in the beginning, you do want her to go off. Uh, so I'm going to show you some footage of how I actually do that. The important thing is that Mildred, um, she activates and it's four turns in the very beginning. 
but if you make her go off that timer is going to go down to two so instead of six turns it's going to be uh three maybe even four turns instead of six so the less am amount of time uh she actually runs out of that uh debuff the better so i'm going to show you a little bit of footage of that So yeah, that, that is a, a good way to actually deal with Mildred, especially if you run teams that do, do not have cleanse. Manipulating the stones is an excellent way to actually beat her, uh, specifically in that way. So yeah, uh, those are the main ways to actually um, uh, manipulate the board uh, and things like that. Uh, however, I do want it to bring in a little bit of strategy that are that are incredible uh, long lost player uh, sensei used to say that uh, in the beginning when we didn't actually have uh, these stones that this these weapon stones let me see if I have it here uh, stone weapons here uh, we would have to actually connect here from the the right side to actually try to get more for this side to have a very good beginning versus bosses but now that we have to have this weapon uh, we really don't need to do that as much but if you don't have the weapon and you're getting the beginning with really bad, you can try to connect stones on the the other side that you're not getting so so much stones to actually create more stones there. That is one option. See, let's see if we can get something. We didn't get anything. We can try it one more time, but it may ruin all this. Because <laughs> if I move this, everything's going to be ruined. So it's probably just good to activate it once then pretty much it's going to do everything and that's the thing you have to activate the top part to actually get as much connections as possible and use heroes that actually create as many stones as possible to give you more probabilities even more with bosses so that's pretty much the main thing about uh, creating uh, best possible outcome uh, when you're playing uh, here and bosses and things like that all right guys so this is the very last thing that i'm going to explain to you is in uh, situations in which you're complete with a, a lot of problems with uh, with the stones, with in this case blue stones, um, in which you don't have much options, and you, some people may get uh, really nervous, really desperate uh, because it's not the board's not working. Uh, just take a breath and just uh, try to concentrate on, on getting better connections in the areas that you have. So imagine that all these heroes are empty. They don't have any skills. They're not going to create any types of stones or anything like that. So we're just going to try to uh, use the, the board to get the best, best connection possible. So I spoke about uh, trying to connect on the opposite side when facing bosses on the last, on the last video, last footage. So, but in arena, when you want to have the best, uh, uh, pretty much uh, stones as much as possible uh, to activate, you're not going to activate on the opposite side, like I said. You're going to activate on the side that you still have some of the, the actual stones that you actually need. In this case, it's blue. So here I see a, uh, an opportunity to do this connection and actually be able to get blue there and I'm gonna continue over and over again to uh, do more connections on this side to see if I can get more blue and I did get more blue so I continue to do that so I can I can see I can do a connection here uh, but instead I'm gonna do this to see if I can get even more blues let's see and we got a really nice connection there we actually created a crystal, and if we're able to actually create a crystal at any, any time, so we should always try to do that at all times. So, here I see the opportunity to do a good connection here, so I'm going to do it on the top. Remember, they always try to do connections up the top. If you have to choose between the top and the bottom, try to choose the top to get even more probabilities of getting more blues here. So I see one more here. And I'm going to take it like from here to do this connection here. 
so but always close to the color to the side that has the colors that you actually need here so we do have an opportunity to create uh, one stone here and continue to do that but now we have on both sides so that's really nice so in this case we are able to uh, connect uh, instead of activating one of these blues we're going to try to connect uh, one of the this red so this way this side can be open this side can be open as well with the blue so let's see what we got here see really nice connections very very nice and you keep doing it like that you keep doing these types of things and you'll be able to actually uh, open up the board and actually get more connections with blue and so forth Remember you have a, a, a probability of 1 to 5, so you have to make uh, connections that will help you actually have more probabilities of getting even more connections with that color. So here, that's 3. So that's going to maybe help me get more blues. Hmm, we did get more connections there. So it's not a, a perfect science, but it will help you actually get uh, more connections there, especially in an emergency and things like that. So, um, summing up there, uh, you have to connect on the side that you have the colors. This one we have. Oh, I connected that by mistake. But anyway, uh, here I see here I see more blues. Here I don't really see a lot of blues. So I'm going to connect on this side to see if I can get even more blues. And so forth. So, this way of doing it will help you to actually uh, get um, a, a lot more stones. And, uh, and don't fret. Uh, don't don't get desperate and all that. Uh, just um, uh, try to try to do it this way, and you'll be able to get uh, more of the color that you're actually looking for. All right, guys. So I think that's pretty much it. I'm I'm sure there's other ways to actually manipulate the board and actually uh, get uh, better outcomes with with the stones. Uh, but let me know what you think. Uh, I usually read all the comments, so if there's any other ways that you can actually see that's better to actually manipulate the board and things like that, I would definitely like to know. But these are my ways, and the ways that I've seen that it's that it's worked better. So uh, don't, just don't go out with the game and uh, think that you connect connect whatever and anything. Remember that the board is a weapon, and you manipulate that weapon to the best way that you can to eliminate your enemy. Alright, thank you very much for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.